Hey, what's the 10 cheapest ways to buy meat and save money? Well, that's coming up next here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You know, with the cost of meat and rising these days and inflation and, and shortages and everything else that's going on, right now is a really good time to be looking at buying some stuff because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen after the first of the year. The whole thing could crash or whatever. Depends on who you listen to, what you believe, and whatever it may be. All right, there's a lot of things that are brewing and I do believe that it's a perfect storm. So today I'm gonna to try to give you some quick tips on the 10 cheapest ways to buy meat and save money. Now save money. Now, if you do live in the South, all right, there's a great store, it's called Winn-Dixie. Now, me and my wife went shopping there this morning to Mr. Win Dixie here. Now they are known as the beef people, folks. And this way here, you can maximize a lot of good savings when they're running their deals at Win Dixie. Now maybe you have another store or something that is kind of like the along the lines of the same thing. And this way here, you can save there also. You have to do your homework. You have to do shopping around. You have to check ads. You have to check whatever it is and see who's got the best deals but right now is a really good time to be stocking up because look look let's just face it we don't know what's going to happen in this coming year it all could come to an end for all we know we just don't know there's too many uncertainties and in my opinion it's a perfect storm that's brewing between inflation between the stock market shortages less truck drivers they're having problems moving all these different types of products they're having problems with the new variants all popping up and everything else and lord only knows what the government's going to do with that one you know what i'm saying i mean so let's see if we can save you some money real quick first off we're going to say you got to have two good products to make sure that you can succeed in buying meat and saving it for long term all right now you need a vacuum sealer vacuum sealer of your choice as long as it can vacuum seal it and suck all the air out of it and it works there you go and a freezer now a lot of these things you want to look at buying right now because a lot of stores are having some killer deals now i already had a vacuum sealer had a vacuum sealer for a long time i love it i've done everything in my vacuum sealer and it's great my actually has an attachment i can do the jars too it's whatever you can afford now freezers we picked up a freezer about two weeks ago we bought it from home depot all right it's a magic chef five cubic foot chest freezer they had them on sale and with a four year extended warranty I paid 190 bucks for it and that included the delivery price and they delivered it to my door the same day now that's what i call a good deal all i had to do was unbox it plug it in let it run for four and a half hours it was cold load her up so let's get going on the 10 cheapest ways first off all right buy your meat in bulk all right, buying your meat in bulk, vacuum sealing it and freezing it is the best thing that you can do if you're buying any type of meat, rather it be red meat, pork, chicken, whatever it is. If you want veal, doesn't matter. If you go hunting and you shoot a deer, you, you get a, a, a wild hog, a bear, elk, moose, whatever it is, make sure you got a vacuum sealer. This way you can vacuum seal it, throw it in your freezer, and it's going to last you. Most of them all say right on the boxes when you buy them, you're increasing the longevity of your product for up to a year. Purchasing smaller amounts of ground beef or ground pork. Now, the reason is, is you can stretch those out, folks. You can stretch it out by using uh, fillers like uh, breadcrumbs. You can use uh, crush up corn flakes. You can put other things in there. You can put uh, rice in and you can put uh, beans or whatever. You can make the meat go further when you're buying in a smaller packs because sometimes you can't always find the family packs of say like the ground beef. Look in when you go to your store. Now a lot of Walmarts do this. If you have a Walmart near and you've been in there, you've probably seen them. All right. Buy the reduced meats. Now, in like in Walmart, most stores all put these nice yellow tags on there. They're going to say, okay, this one is reduced because it's coming up close to the date that they have to pull it off the shelf and throw it in the trash, which is just 
ridiculous if you ask me you're just throwing it away donate it to somebody or something but that's a whole nother video but anyways look for those because even if you buy the product that day you take it home if you're not going to use it vacuum seal it throw it in your freezer and it's going to be good for up to a whole nother year so you'll have it you bought it at a good deal you save some money and there you go so buying reduced meat sometimes is a good way to make sure that you can save some money now one thing about that is the best time to do that is usually in the mornings because they've reduced the prices overnight so it's like first come first serve it's probably gone if you don't get there until 11 12 o'clock you're not going to find it if you get there at uh, six seven o'clock in the morning whenever your store opens that's when you're going to find all the deals load up the cart folks that's all i'm saying when you're looking at the cuts of beef that you want to buy you know everybody likes the, like the prime cuts you know and everything else choose the choice cuts rather than prime cuts because that's going to save you even more money now you can always tenderize your own meats you can flavor your own meats you can marinate them or whatever you want to do and you're going to save money because it's not a prime cut of meat so go with the choice cuts rather than the prime cuts okay so that's just another good way number five buy your family size packs now this is a huge one folks you can save a lot of money buying a family size packs you can buy it then freeze it bring it home put the stuff in your vacuum sealed bags freeze them you can use regular freezer bags for a short term I wouldn't go any longer than two months because usually after two months you start to see the freezer burn you start to see the ice crystals and everything else once you've used a vacuum sealer and you vacuum seal your meats and you go in there and you look I've got chicken breasts that are in a freezer right now that are like seven months old and they still look like the ones I just put in there today that's what I'm saying so buy the family size packs because you're gonna maximize the money and you can get family size packs on your steaks you can get it on hamburger you can get it on uh, chicken pork just about anything you can use to get a family size pack buy lean ground beef is number six now i know everybody's out there just like what are you talking about have you seen the price of the lean ground beef all right so you go into the store and you buy that 70 percent ground beef when you cook it down all right how much of that did you just pour out of there all that liquid and everything else i mean that was just a waste if you notice if you cook the lean ground beef there's like nothing in there you're maximizing the amount of meat you're getting see what i'm saying folks sometimes it's kind of like an optical illusion you think you're getting a better deal but in the end once you've cooked it you got less okay go over to your deli sometimes you can buy the deli end cuts now those are great if you're say you're going to be making some like a chicken salad turkey salad or any of those type of things ham salad something like that buy the end cuts sometimes some of those different delis they'll sell you those little end cuts save yourself some money some then rather than buying something you have to cook and then cut it up and everything else it's already cooked it's already done you know so look at buying some of the deli meat ends in your deli at your local stores or wherever you go they may just sell them to you number eight now this is a big one folks if you're not really good at using knives please skip this one all right trim your own meats buy in bulk and trim your own meats buy a huge pork tenderloin buy a whole chicken buy whatever it is all right and then trim it down to whatever you want you can buy a whole chicken a lot cheaper than you can buying all the parts and pieces and everything that's already been done for you so this way here you buy the whole chicken you have to cut it up yourself you got to make sure that you do have good quality knives folks i can't stress that enough if you're trying to use a dull knife or whatever else you're probably going to end up cutting yourself so make sure that you do have good quality knives if you're going to be trimming your own meats and a good pair of trimming scissors if you need to cut fat off things and all this kind of stuff don't skimp like the trimming scissors I've had that I showed in my um, vacuum sealed 
video when I show you how I do my vacuum sealed my chicken and everything and a couple of tips and tricks in there that you should watch. I mean, you should go back and watch that. Maybe I'll put a little teaser right up here. So this way here you can go back and see what I'm talking about but you want to make sure you have good quality things if you are going to be trimming your own meat but you will save a lot of money if you can do that. All right number nine right now it's the holidays right i mean come on we all know it it is the lovely holidays right now is the best time to stock up on a lot of different things but if you're trying to put away food and everything else it's a good time to do it and i'm talking about like you know turkeys hams um right now they're running sales on some prime ribs um all this kind of stuff you can buy and this way you can put it in your freezer and you could make it at a later date, say it an emergency type situation, and you could stretch that out and make a lot of different meals with a turkey or a ham. You know, I mean, they, you can make a lot of things. So, you know, right now around the holidays is a good time to stock up on just about anything and everything, folks. No, and know. number 10 is you want to make sure that you're doing your research. Now, what I mean by doing your research is most all these stores nowadays all have an app. Download the app. It's free. Free is good. We're saving money. Free is a good thing to have in your back pocket you can pull up their apps that's what i did when we went shopping to the good old winn dixie today that i'm gonna cover that in just a second here and i saw all the killer sales they were having this weekend and i couldn't pass it up I told the wife i said we're getting up early we they opened at seven we were there at seven we got a bunch of stuff i'm going to tell you all about it here in just a few seconds but make sure that you're doing your research if you don't get an app maybe you get a sunday paper still check the ads or go on the computer, pull up their websites, go on there, check the ads, see what they're running. A lot of the stores nowadays, they'll show you the ad for this week and give you a teaser for next week too to see what's going to be coming up. So you know when to buy stuff and you want to get a really good deal. Now let's talk about the deals I got today. <clears throat> I spent $150. $150. I got two pork tenderloins. I got one really nice big porterhouse steak. I got a total of three New York strips, six T-bones, regular thing of pork spare ribs, a regular pork baby back ribs, two pounds of bacon, two whole chickens, two family size pack of chicken breast. So how much did you think I saved? I paid $150.37. I saved $92.72 because of all the sales that they were having today at Winn Dixie. So you need to shop around. You need to be prepared. You need to maximize and have meat on hand. Because right now, you may have all the dry goods you need, all the rice. You could have rice that lasts you for two years. You could have pasta that lasts you for two years. You could have canned goods. You can have all this other kind of stuff. But do you have meat to go along with it? Eating all those rice and pasta with nothing else, it's going to get pretty boring really quick. If you get what I'm saying. I mean, come on, folks. I'm trying to help you out and trying to get you to save some money here. So I hope this video instills a little bit of knowledge in your toolbox that you can handle that you can use in order to maximize and save money so that you and your family can be prepared and ready and weather the storm i'm survival preparedness for beginners i'd like to thank you for watching this video today thank you for all that you do for my channel look forward to seeing you next time till then i'll catch all of you on the flip side, I'm out.